Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, <clears throat> if you look at the fiscal note it asks to strip or fix, it will not be a strip or fix whatever you put the barrels at until you ask for annual recertification. We're the only state in the union that does not have that. We should defeat this, we should send it back to conference, and then if you really want to fix that stripper, then fix it back there. We need annual recertification for those uh, stripper wells that are there. The stripper properties is as it, what it is. It's a loophole. You're not going to get something neutral because it's a loophole. And then to extend the extraction tax down the road, down the road another year to try and make it somewhat neutral, that's just a, a, a play of uh, games at this point. Now, the industry is not asking for that reduction of that extraction tax. They're not asking for it. They know the consequences. They're not asking for it. So, ladies and gentlemen, Assembly, Mr. Speaker, I hope we can reject this report and send it back to a committee. Thank you. Representative Drubdahl. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm not going to debate right now. I'm going to debate the bill when it gets to the uh, to the final order. But I will want request a recorded roll, Mr. Speaker. And again, uh, this bill does nine different things. It fixes the stripper well problem we have. It's a half a percent extraction tax to make the bill revenue neutral to the state of North Dakota. Freezes the trigger. Uh, it has a new incentive. It removes two incentives. It has a withholding in the 50-50 split, and it changes the qualifier and a report from the tribe. In answering a couple of the questions, if we pass a law and somebody pays new taxes, it's a tax increase, I, no matter how you want to say it. Uh, this oil industry has provided us with all kinds of opportunities. It's going to continue to provide those opportunities. A fair and balanced and a, a tax that they can understand is good. When it comes to repairing infrastructure, I know the needs of the infrastructure out there just as well as anyone in this place. That infrastructure money, as you know, comes from the 5% production tax, and we are not touching that 5%. Currently, they're getting about 28%. If we want to get more money out of there, we have to make our priorities and put it and increase that percentage. The extraction tax is a tax we use for just about everything else. Uh, I urge you to pass this bill. It's a good reform bill. It makes our tax system much better to understand for the oil and gas industry, and I think it's a good step forward. So with that, I ask for your to vote any way you want it. Whether you love it or not, it's got good, it's got bad. Uh, pick your side and, and vote your conscience. Thank you. Is there any further discussion, Representative?